show the step-by-step -step mechanism for the dehydration of 2-methyl-2-propanol to 2-methyl-1-propene. And the reaction goes via the E2 mechanism because our alcohol is a tertiary alcohol. Okay, step one. Step one is the protonation of the OH on your alcohol. So C, H, 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 C, H3, O, H, and C, H3. Okay, H2SO4 in solution dissociates into H plus and HSO4 minus because it's an acid, right? So one of the lone pairs on the oxygen grabs the H plus and you get this C H H H C H three. Now on the OH you have two H's attached and a lone pair. So now you have a plus charge on the oxygen. Okay. And you still have the HSO4 minus. So the minus charge is on the HSO4, the plus charge is on the oxygen of your alcohol. Okay, step two. The product the reactant in step two is the product in step one. So C H H H C C H three O that should be a lone pair. Lone pair H H plus charge C H three. Okay. So we do have a a tertiary uh, carbon there. So then what happens is the that lone pair oxygen is very unhappy being positively charged. So that lone pair goes to oxygen as a second lone pair. And so this is what you get. CH3. Oh, no. Let's spell out those H's. H H H C C H three C H three. Since the H two O left the molecule, you now have a positive charge on the carbon on that tertiary carbon. So what we have is a tertiary carbocation, and tertiary carbocations are relatively stable. So we generated H two O in the process. Okay, step three. So this here is the slow step, and the slow step involves just one species. It's this. That's why it's called, oh, this is E1, not E2. This is E1. All right. So the slow step involves just one species, so it's elimination, and it's unimolecular. The slow step involves one, one species. So step two, or step three, so the reactant is the product in step two. C H H H C C H three C H three. We have a plus charge there. Remember that in step one we generated that H S O four minus, so now it resurfaces. So H S O four minus. It's not a very basic uh species, but it's basic enough to remove that H from that beta carbon. And what happens is that bond between the carbon and the hydrogen goes between the, those two carbons, the alpha and the beta carbons, and you form your alkene C, H, H, double bond C, have a CH3 and a CH3, and in the process, we generated our sulfuric acid. So H2SO4 is a catalyst.